Hello everyone, today we are going to solve an example where we are going to learn the difference between simple interest and compound interest. I will be showing you two examples in this video. In the first example, we will be finding the compound interest without using the formula. And in our second example, we will find the compound interest using the formula. So our main aim here in this video is to find the difference between simple interest and compound interest. So the first question is, what is the difference between simple interest and compound interest payable on a principal of rupees 1250 in two years at the rate of 10% per annum? We are going to find simple interest on this side, on the left hand side and compound interest on the right hand side. And then we will find the difference between the two. For finding simple interest, our principal amount will be same for all the years which is 1250. Rate of interest will be same which is 10% and time is 2 years as we are going to find interest for 2 years. So by using the formula for simple interest which is principal times rate of interest times time divided by 100 and substituting the values. 1250 times 10 times 2 divided by 100 our simple interest is equal to these two zeros gets cancelled with these two zeros so 125 times 2 which is equal to 250 rupees so this is the simple interest at the end of two years now let's find the compound interest without using the formula. So for that we are going to use the formula for simple interest and find the simple interest or the interest for first year. For first year principal amount will be 1250. Rate of interest is 10% and time will be 1 year because we are finding it for first year, 1 year only. So simple interest is equal to P times R times T divided by 100 which is equal to 1250 times 10 times 1 divided by 100. So here these two zeros gets cancelled with these two zeros. So we are left with rupees 125. So this is the simple interest at the end of first year and we are going to find the amount which is going to act as the new principal for second year. So amount will be principal plus so our amount comes out to be 1375 rupees. This is the amount at the end of first year and this amount is our new principal for second year. Now we will find the interest for second year. So for second year Principal amount will be 1375, rate of interest will be 10% and time will be 1 year. So simple interest will be principal times rate of interest times time divided by 100 which is equal to 1375 times 10 times 1 divided by 100 which is equal to these two zeros gets cancelled and we are left with 137.5. So now we will find the amount. Amount will be principal plus interest. Principal amount is 1375 plus interest is 137.5 and amount will be equal to 1512.5 this is the amount at the end of second year now for finding the compound interest we are going to do final amount minus initial principal so final amount is 1512.5 and initial principal is rupees 1250. So our compound interest is 262.50 rupees. 
So this is the compound interest at the end of two years. Now we can see the difference that the simple interest is 250 rupees and compound interest is 262 rupees. So compound interest is more than the simple interest. Now let's find the difference between the two. Let's find the difference between compound interest and simple interest. Compound interest minus simple interest. Our compound interest was 262.50 and simple interest was 250. So the difference between the two will be 12 rupees 50 paise. This is the difference between compound interest and simple interest. So in this example, we calculated compound interest without using the formula. Now let's take on one more example where we find the compound interest using the formula. So our second example is, what is the difference between simple interest and compound interest payable on a principal of rupees 16,000 in three years at the rate of 12.5% per annum? So here in this example, we are going to use the formula to find the compound and simple interest. Let's start with finding the simple interest. For simple interest, principal amount is rupees 16,000. Rate of interest is 12.5% and time is 3 years. So the formula for simple interest is principal times rate of interest times time divided by 100 which is equal to 16,000 times 12.5 times 3 divided by 100. Let's solve it on the next line. We can cancel this point and put a zero here. Now these three zeros gets cancelled with these three zeros and we are left with 16 times 125 times 3 which is equal to 6000 rupees. So this is our simple interest. Now let's calculate compound interest. For compound interest principal amount will be rupees 16000. Rate of interest will be 12.5 and time will be 3 years because we are using the formula. So amount will be equal to principal times 1 plus R divided by 100 raised to power T. So principal is 16,000 times 1 plus 12.5 divided by 100 raised to power 3. This is equal to 16,000. So this will be 125 divided by 1000 raised to power 3 which is equal to 16,000 times 1 plus. So this will be 1 plus when 125 times 8 is 1000. So which is equal to 16,000 1 plus 1 by 8. So we will take the LCM as 8. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 1 divided by 8 whole raised to power 3. So this is 16,000 times 9 by 8 cube. 16,000 times 9 times 9 times 9 divided by 8 times 8 times 8. After solving this we are going to get rupees. 22,781.25 so amount is rupees 22,781.25 this is the amount now we are going to find the compound interest which is so our compound interest is 6781 which is amount minus principal and Simple interest is rupees 6000. So here too we can see that compound interest is more than the simple interest. Now let's find the difference between the two interests. Simple interest is rupees 6000 and compound interest is 6781.25. So the difference between compound interest and simple interest is 6781.25 minus 6000 which is equal to rupees 781.25 so now we see that compound interest on any principal is greater than the simple interest on it for the same time period 
सो आई होप दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल टू यू इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर मैथ वीडियोज थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग